when I was growing up, we didn't have the internet. What we learned about horror movies, we learned from watching them and reading as much as we could in newspapers and magazines and talking to a lot of friends who maybe had done the same. But we didn't have the resources of today. That will become very obvious as you watch this video. Today I unearthed one of the things from my childhood that gave me a lot of joy back then and gave me even more joy today when I rediscovered it. A photo scrapbook that I'd repurposed for horror clippings from the local newspaper. Now some of these are from different sources than just newspapers and I'll go over them as we go through it. But you have to remember this was a time when even seeing the poster art from a horror film that you'd seen or wanted to see and didn't get to the theater was a big thrill. It wasn't like today we could just go online and Google up an image. It was different. I think it also made fandom all that more desperate, but voracious. So join me for a look through this scrapbook and uh, maybe you'll be underwhelmed or maybe you'll be nostalgic like I am, or maybe this will seem like the most alien thing in the world. But I think for some of us, these old newspaper ads are central to why we are fans today. Because in advertising these films, these distribution companies were speaking directly to us, the young fans. Okay, so this is the scrapbook. Now these stickers on the front were hologrammatic stickers that you get from a vending machine outside of a supermarket. I tried to get as many as I could, but they only lasted the machine for about six months. So there's Nightmares, The Gate, Return of the Living Dead Part Two, Monkey Shines, Nightmare on Elm Street, another Monkey Shines, you didn't get to choose which stickers you got, another Return of the Living Dead, uh, a generic pinhead, Hellbound, Lair of the White Worm, uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street 4, A Nightmare on Elm Street 4 as well, Swamp Thing, American Werewolf in London, Memorial Valley Massacre, Return of the Living Dead Part 2 again, and a Nightmare on Elm Street 4 again. Now some of those stickers go for quite a bit of money online if you got them in good condition. There's the New Beginning uh, clip art. There's Deep Star 6. I loved Deep Star 6 when I saw it in the theater. Uh, Jason Takes Manhattan, and you'll see that that was from the when it started. That's the key Jason Lives art with the Nothing This Evil Ever Dies tagline that you don't see nearly enough anymore. And there's the new blood. Uh, a small little kindred ad, as well as a double feature for the Route 35 flea, uh, drive in. Uh, now there's the kindred, a movie that's still not on any digital form. 976 Evil. The Return of the Living Dead, this is really faded, and I apologize, it's one of the older ones here. You only you see that's the ad for the Eric and Easton, which is gone. And, I love the fact that they advertise the bands. Uh, this Fan of the Opera ad is actually from a video magazine you used to get free at the video store. Uh, Dead Winter is, was actually a thriller, but I thought it was a horror film, so I included it in here as a kid. And I've never taken anything out. Uh, just a, a bunch of cut-ups from the Jason Takes Manhattan. Top Movie Weekend for August 4th through 6th. You'll see that Friday 13th Part 8 is 9th on the list in its second week of release. But look at this lineup of movies. This is what was in theaters at that week. It's kind of insane. This is a clipping from Cracked Magazine or Mad. I think Cracked um, is one of the rare appearances of an R-rated character in the magazine. Graveyard Shift. Nightbreed. Uh, bad art for Nightbreed, though. Who was going to see that movie? Uh, Darkman and Graveyard Shift. And this page fell apart as I opened it. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. Nightmare on Elm Street 5, Dream Child. And 4, Dream Master. We have Child's Play 2, Tales from the Dark Side the Movie. Wes Craven's Shocker. Tremors. So this was, that was like the 1990s page. Jaws the Revenge. This time it's personal. Play again at the Eric East and Easton. And class of 1999, which played for about a week before it got pulled. Uh, the First Power, Lost Boys, Sleep All Day, Pray All Night, Never Grow Old, Never Die, It's Fun to Be a Vampire, uh, Peter Pan Story, If There Ever Was, 
This is from the back of a video magazine uh, for the video stores. It was advertising the sell-through price of these titles for horror films at one Halloween. Look at what they were selling. It's, it's pretty exciting. And having the scanners add central is just awesome. Flatliners and The Unholy, a really underrated film that has a good video release, but people don't talk about it. Ben Cross is really good in it. Return of the Living Dead Part 2, Exorcist 3. Um, Exorcist 3 didn't have nearly the advertising campaign it should have had. It's a tremendous film. This is the original review from the Easton uh, newspaper uh, for Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. Uh, there's the, the new blood ad, the Jason Takes Manhattan release ad, Alien Nation, and again, Jason Takes Manhattan. Halloween 4, Halloween 5. Night of the Living Dead Remake, and Deep Star Six. Beetlejuice. Monkey Shines. Critters 2. Mick Garris' Finest Hour. And a big video ad for Deep Star Six. Save your last breath to scream. Coming to video stores June 8th, which was a really quick turnaround from its theatrical. And here's some more stickers on the back. Nightmare on Elm Street, Day of the Dead, Creep Show, Slaughter High, a, a Nightmare on Elm Street 2, The Supernaturals, Return to Horror High, Thou Shall Not Kill Except, and uh, Nightmares. So we end where we began. Thanks for joining me on this uh, trip through a scrapbook from the late 80s through 1990. Hope you enjoyed.